Okay, a little bit of background here in terms of our WordPress site. First things first, in terms of key understandings, I've already taken you through setting up security and we will get into locations where you can install updates if necessary. I will talk to you about how to install a theme. We're going to talk generally about appearance, themes, theme customization, menus, and widgets. Now, the important part about WordPress is that once you understand these six basic areas, themes, appearance, customization, menus, widgets, and uh, media, once you understand those pieces, you pretty much have a good understanding of how to manipulate your WordPress. Those are the big items. Now, in terms of our first page of our WordPress, WordPress is composed or built upon either a post or a page. Posts tend to be time sensitive content and will come and go. They might be community announcements, they might be classroom announcements, they might be homework assignments, etc. But generally speaking, a post does not stick around for very long. Pages, on the other hand, are static or semi static content, and those will be the things that you would use to build your menus, pieces that change infrequently or very uh, little, if at any. Most of the instructional design site for this course will be pages. So unless you're directed specifically to do a post, please assume it would be a page. In terms of moving forward from there, most themes have a couple of widget areas. We're going to talk about widgets. However, um, most theme also has at least one primary menu area. Theme developers sell their themes or, or give them out as uh, unique pieces. So some of them will have multiple options in their themes for customization. Some of them will have multiple options for menus. Part of the work in learning WordPress is to learn what options are available in your particular theme. In terms of a concept here, you're going to build your menus, but generally no more than five-ish menus per site. And each of those menus is going to be about five to seven max number of items. And if you give it thought in terms of that five times seven selections, that's at least 35 items that the person can reach from the front page. Now, that's not to say that people can't reach other content from other pages. Perhaps you've got one of your pages that has 15 links on it. Well, those 15 links may not need to go on the front page. They are reachable by one of your items on the menus on the front page. So again, the concept here is not to overwhelm your user with so many choices at the front end. Um, again, demonstrating that if you had five menus and they had seven selections each, right off the bat, that's 35 items and that's plenty. After your menus are built, the other concept is that you're going to add them as a part of the theme's menu system if it has it, or if you like where it is. Sometimes a, mean, a, a theme system will have a uh, menu system that puts menus where you don't want them. And so oftentimes you might be adding a menu as a widget to a sidebar. Let's go ahead and get started and take a look at all of this.